morning y'all we are back at it again today is black friday even though i cannot for the life of me figure out why we are still calling it that i mean seriously it's 2022 Shouldn't we be calling it African Friday or Friday of Color? All joking aside, we've got DoorDash turned on right now and it is 9.22 a.m. and for the next seven minutes, peak pay is literally at $5.50. And you know what that means. Means every dasher and their grandma is on the road and they're not sending me anything except this right here, which is just a little bit too far for my taste, so. And it happens to be sprinkling right now, so that makes things a little more interesting. Uber Eats does have another quest after 3 p.m. and Spark has incentives for the day, but honestly, I'm not sure about Spark really. It's been really bad lately, and I don't expect today of all days to be any better. All right, I went ahead and took this CVS order. Nine bucks, 3.5 miles, not too bad. Only one item. All right, now that was ridiculous. She tells me to use self-checkout, so I go to self-checkout, but the DoorDash app won't load the barcode to scan waited five minutes and I called support and they had to mark the order as picked up manually and she had to check me out herself. All right, somebody makes sense of this for me. She orders nothing but a COVID test and she says, hand it to me. <laughs> what kind of sense is that supposed to make? Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm handing it to her. I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave it at her door and take a picture. So we got this $8 Uber Eats order that we were able to stack perfectly with this $12.50 DoorDash order. And I didn't know this guys, but apparently donuts are a dessert item. Julian? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll get to cool. Thank you. starter kit from Walmart. Whoever you are, if you're watching this, shout outs to you. Good luck on your channel. Hit me up, we should collab sometime. That dude was hanging 10 on a skateboard in the road, in the rain, with a mask on. Oh, get me off this planet! Alright, so the bad news is the GoPro is being stupid with the SD card again. Good news is that it is not going to stop me. We've got this order right here. A shopping order for only six items. And that Sam's Club brought us right outside this Walmart. So and this is the last order we need to make the incentive for $25. And the wait times have been surprisingly good. I would think Black Friday of all days, I'd be waiting a lot longer than usual for those curbside orders. Not today. It's almost one o'clock. I might even go for the six order incentive. So we ran into that Walmart, we grabbed the squeakiest cart we could find, we got some dog food, we got some tortillas, we got some onions, ham, bacon, and we're out of there. So I went ahead and turned off Spark and took an hour break, got something to eat, and now we're back. I turned Spark back on and I was hit with a slew of notifications all saying earn an extra $8 to accept this order. And the first come first serve orders actually gave me enough time to screenshot them and read them. So I'm guessing they don't have enough drivers on the road today. Either that or they've got tons and tons of orders, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Seeing the curbside pickup area has never been packed and the wait times so far have not been too long. We're taking the highest paying order on that list. And now we're waiting for it. All right, once again, that order did not take long at all. Maybe like 10 minutes at that. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Perfect up into the curbside which is this time much busier than last time and they were out in like a minute or two eight orders total for the day means 55 dollars total extra so i'm gonna take this one and i think one more and then turn on uber eats either rain or snow or gloom 
keep this driver from his appointed rounds! It is guys, the last order we need to hit our goal of eight trips. This rain is not stopping and neither are we. And that took a little bit longer, but at least it wasn't an hour. Well guys, we've been waiting for like half an hour. Only seen a handful of orders from either platform and they're like all taking me way out of the zone. Crumble sent me this one, $11 for four miles. I really hate Crumble. They're always super slow, but since I'm not getting anything better right now, I went ahead and took it. But then I got this add-on for Panda Express. I think it's 940 for an additional half mile. I forgot to screenshot. And honestly, I'm starting to get a bit tired, so I might call it quits after this. And this is Crumble Cookies. It's not gonna fit in a regular DoorDash bag, so we're gonna take our pizza bag with us to keep the box dry, because we actually care about our customers. Let's go get it. Hi. I've got a DoorDash for Jimmy. Jimmy? Yes. All right, cool, thank you. If you're wondering why I brought the Uber Eats bag in with me for a DoorDash order, answer is simple. I don't know either. Just absent-minded like that. Either way, we got both orders. Let's go drop them off. So yeah guys, I decided to end it after that. I can barely see anything out here. Don't want to be looking for apartment buildings in the rain all night. We made some pretty good money today. I'll meet you back at the apartment and we'll do the breakdown. All right guys, it is now Sunday afternoon and on Spark I'm still seeing a $7 unconfirmed tip. So I'm gonna assume that I've been tip baited on that one, which stinks, but it happens. But it's still good either way. We made $212.31 on Spark alone on Friday, $8.08 .08 on Uber Eats, and $45.15 on DoorDash, bringing our daily total to $265.54. And we drove 97 miles and went about 8.15 hours. So our hourly rate was about $32.58, and our dollars per mile ratio was $2.74. So not a bad day at all. Most of that was just Walmart Spark and the incentives that went with it. Unfortunately, I have no idea how DoorDash and Uber Eats were doing the rest of the day, but judging from that slow period in the evening, I would say probably not too good. But for me, Black Friday was definitely worth it for Spark. Thanksgiving for DoorDash and Uber Eats, not so much. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.